Hello world, welcome to Farm the Market. On the Stock Trading Journal series, I share with you some of my trades. I will not explain a given strategy in depth or claim that I have the quote-unquote unique and epic strategy that beats the market every time. I just hope it's a good exercise for me, where I get to analyze some of my trades deeply by explaining them to you rather than just logging numbers and notes in my blotter. After all, you know what they say, if you want to understand something well, try to explain it simply. And hopefully for you, by looking step by step at examples of real trades, you might find interesting some of the techniques or adjustments I use on my trades. And this might help you in your journey to develop your own trading skills. This time we will look into Peloton. Let's get started. After a drop of almost 80% since its peak in 2021, Peloton started to get on my radar. There is no bulletproof rule that determines what a stock should do every time, but in general, after a high-flying stock with exponential increases in price, like Peloton was between 2020 and 2021, reaches a peak and starts a relevant decline, the decline is often very deep. Peak to trough, it's not rare to see declines that hover in average between 70 and 80%. Of course, these are just averages. Some might not go that low and others might go to zero. With that as a starting point, I checked out Peloton's volatility metrics. For the 52-week period, both the IV rank and the IV percentile were above 80%, which is significant. So, with that framework in mind, I decided to sell a cash secure put on Peloton. This kind of trade is very risky. Although in the long run the winning rate can be very high, the risk reward ratio is always against you by a big factor. I have no guarantees, but at this point in time I like the volatility levels and I give myself some extra room by selling the put with a 25 strike. That's almost 30% out of the money with a delta of minus 0.08. This kind of trade is usually the starting point of what many call the wheel strategy, but this is not the case. I do not want to own Peloton stock. This is just a trade for me. Considering that, for this trade my stop loss will be exactly at the strike price. If at any point there's a daily close below 25, I'll just take my loss and I'll be out of the trade. Well, it didn't take long. Just a few days later, bad news came out about Peloton halting production and the stock took a dive. The stop loss was triggered on January 20, 2022 and I had to take a loss. I bought back the short put for almost 7.5 times what I received for the sell. But it's important to have discipline. In moments like this, one might try to rationalize a hundred reasons why the stop loss should be ignored. It's important to stick to the plan. This stock trading journal series is all about reviewing trades and emphasizing the importance of using defined rules, so you can keep track and analyze your trades and make improvements over the long run. You cannot do that if every trade is open to interpretation when things don't go your way. Playing Monday morning quarterback, let's look at what happened to Peloton a few days later. The stock bounced back and it's now above 25. Today, I could have closed a trade at almost one third of the cost, reducing my loss. Although no one likes losing money, taking a loss when the stop loss was triggered over waiting until today was a much better trade. Yes, even with the advantage of hindsight, my original trade is better than closing the position today with a smaller loss. It's not about the result. It's always about the process. If you found this information useful and interesting, please don't forget to like this video. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. Remember that everything presented here is for educational purposes only. Thanks for your time.